Hey guys, welcome back to Living in Jersey. I am Steve Strickland, broker owner of Strickland Realty. And today we are gonna be going over one of my absolute favorite towns in all of New Jersey. And we're gonna go over everything you need to know about living in Westfield. Right, guys let's take a look at the map here of Westfield New Jersey outlined here by the red dots as you can see Westfield is awesome really really awesome it was super famous before you know the whole watcher thing came out on Netflix for many many amazing reasons Westfield is just fantastic we'll get into the watcher kind of uh, sidebar in a minute but Let's, let's put that on the side over there uh, because Westfield is awesome, awesome, awesome. One of the safest areas, uh, one of the best school areas, one of the best downtown shopping areas. Just really, really one of my favorite, favorite towns. Uh, let's take a look at it because it's, it, it's just, it's awesome. So, you have one of the best the, the down I can't uh, how do I explain it the downtown of Westfield is like going into a mall but it's outside and it's 10 times better there's my downtown explanation of Westfield so let's let's take a look at uh well let's try and take a look at everything here it's just uh, it's so cool so you'll have your normal shopping areas all right let's take let's back out so real quick you have route 22 which if you've seen any of the other videos uh, route 22 has a ton a ton of stores this section of route 22 right here this little section has fewer stores than most other sections of route 22 but you're six minutes from anything on route 22 you got famous Dave's right here but then you got to start going into the other towns a little bit this section of 22 is definitely more spread out but go 10 minutes over here, Walmart, Best Buy, Chick-fil-A, Petco, Target, everything that you could possibly need. Once we're back here in Westfield, if we go 10 minutes this way on Route 22, five minutes really, not even 10 minutes, there's McDonald's, ice cream, Kohl's, Arby's, everything that you need. It's just this one tiny little section that happens to be right where Westfield and Mountainside are. It's a little more sparse, but five minutes either way on Route 22, and you're gonna reach just a ton, a ton of stuff, okay? Now, let's get into Westfield, more of the main street, main area of Westfield, okay? Here, South Avenue, it's not the main downtown area that I'm talking about, but you have cool stuff here, some tanning salons, some nail salons, CVS, Charlie Brown's is over here, here. You got some pediatrics, orthodontics, churches around here, okay? Now we are talking. This is what we're talking about. This section right here is the downtown Westfield area. And it has everything that you could imagine in a downtown. And then why I mentioned you know, it's got things that malls have because it does. It just has Joseph A. Banks on the street. 
right? In Westfield. You don't see that anywhere. You don't see Joseph A. Banks anywhere except for at a mall or right next to a mall. But then you have, you know, the the mom and pop shops here. You got all these fresh, cool, modern type of places, Buddha fish, sushi, uh, juice bar, right? You got your pizza restaurants, you got your salads over here. You know, Italian, you have nice fine dining over here. Uh, ice cream, Chipotle, pastry shop, diner, Cold Stone Creamery. If you're in Union County and you're looking to go shopping or you're looking to go, you know, some kind of cool nightlife, you, you want to go downtown Westfield for many, many reasons. You know, we'll kind of uh, kind of just run through some of these, but it is an awesome, awesome place to be. There's really not much else like it. You could spend the entire day here and not finish it and still, you know, have gone to every single store and get your coffee breaks through and uh, I mean it's awesome absolutely cannot tell you enough about downtown Westfield here all right so shopping dining a plus plus when it comes to Westfield the other awesome thing about Westfield is boom you got a train station right here so you need to get to the city you need to go somewhere else you have the Rar Raritan Valley uh, train line here in Westfield, takes you right to New York, takes you to Newark, anywhere else that you need to go. It was fantastic. So let's uh, take a look here. And then you have beautiful houses here. So let's get into the schools. Uh, one of the many reasons that people come here because you have super high rated schools. Let's get into the schools real quick. Uh, and then we'll look at crime rates. We'll look at some of the houses here. And then we'll, uh, you know, wrap up Westfield. All right, guys, let's take a look at the schools here. And again, I mean, one of the big, big reasons people come to Westfield is because of how highly ranked the schools are. So 9 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 8 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10, 7 out of 10. You cannot find higher rated schools, uh, higher rated public schools, right, anywhere uh, in Union County than you can in Westfield. There are other towns that match, you know, seven out of 10, eight out of 10, nine out of 10 rated schools, but it is A plus top of the line, highest rated schools that there are. Let's take a look at Franklin Elementary here, here eight out of 10, eight out of 10 ranking. Students progress, oh, six out of 10. That surprises me. Um, but test scores, 10 out of 10. You can see here the state of New Jersey average is 50% in math. 55% in English. Uh, Westfield is 80. This school particularly is 83% and 85%. So much, much better. Right? And you can see by all of the schools that we were talking about in Westfield, just super, super, super highly rated schools. Let's take a look at the neighborhood. Westfield is a, it's, it's obviously, obviously, it's much more on the expensive side of homes, uh, especially, you know, in Union County, it's one of the towns in, in Union County that I say are, are the most expensive, right? And you can see, and a lot of these homes are older, right? It's one of the, it's got a cool feel because it's, um, it's an older town. A lot of the houses are still older. I mean, just the top of the two that we're looking at right here, right? We're looking at a three bedroom Cape Cod for $729,000. Let's just take a look at this real quick. See how updated this is, All right? It's gonna be an expanded Cape Cod. Wood floors, right? Nicely updated. Very nicely updated. But you don't see many towns where you get this, this style house for over seven hundred thousand dollars right it's very very expensive and then let's take a look at the other one that i wanted to see right here 307 prospect street when was this built 1910 right they're older houses a lot of 1900 houses a lot a lot of 1900 houses which you wouldn't expect to go for a million dollars 
but they do and they are because of how luxurious, how desirable Westfield is for the schools, for the crime, which we're going to get into in a second, uh, for the train, for the proximity to New York. So it's one of those awesome towns that you kind of need to have a taste for because if you don't want to spend a million dollars on a 1910 house, Westfield might not be the area for you. There's some newer updated houses, but those might be $2 million. So it's got a really, really awesome, awesome, cool feel to it, but it has to be your, your flavor, you know, your desired type of vibe, right? So you can update the houses, which they've done a nice job. Floors look done very nice. Uh, you know, painting, let's find the kitchen. Okay, not the most modern kitchen that there is, but not a bad thing. But what you really can't do in the older homes and what you'll get a lot of in Westfield, right? It's a little bit of a smaller living room, right? That's a little bit of a smaller living area right there. And that's not something that you can easily change in older homes. So you'll, you'll get that and that's the vibe and that's the feel of a lot of these houses that are still around. Oh, there's the updated kitchen. What were we looking at before? All right, so I take that back. Here was an updated, you know, a much more modern kitchen, right? The old wood floors, look at that. The thin planks. That's a big room for a 1910. All right, so, I, I mean, Westfield is, I'm gonna have another video out of, of my top 10 favorite towns in Central Jersey and Westfield is on that list. I'm absolutely in love with Westfield. Um, but unless you're looking at brand new homes, $2 million, if you guys can afford that, you know, you might be paying 1.4 for a, not a small home, but a smaller home than you would expect to pay $1.4 million for, right? Now here looks like a steal. 575, five bedroom, three bathrooms. That is a steal in Westfield. Because look at the prices of everything else that we're looking at here. All right, let's just take a look at this. Now I'm curious about this one. Red carpet. Oh guys. Oh, wallpaper. And I'm I'm saying all because there's another video I have coming out of how to buy houses that are easily upgradable for a gigantic discount. So I can tell you from experience that people are shying away from this house because of the red carpet and the wallpaper. I'm literally doing wallpaper in my house as we speak. I'm doing a video on it, so it's not gonna be out for a little while, but people are shying away from this house because of wallpaper and because of red carpet and green carpet, all right? But I'm telling you this, if you want to move to Westfield, jump on this house if it's still available while you are looking at this video. Because all you need to do is rip out carpet and rip out some wallpaper. It's a pain in the butt. Do it yourselves. Get a contractor to come in. But look at the price difference. Five bedroom, three bathroom for $575 with some ugly carpet and some ugly wallpaper. Boom, you're saving $300,000. $300,000 for some carpet and wallpaper compared to this house right here, right? Let's see what else. This one, $1.4 million. And I know I'm going off on a, on a tangent here, but it's, it's literally what I'm doing right now. And it's uh, something that if you're a bit handy or you can just deal with a little bit of construction going on the house for just a little bit, I mean, guys, this is a a deal as if you've ever seen a deal look how tiny this house is two bedroom three bathroom three and a half bathroom look how small that house is for 639 right compared to this house and i oh, i, I don't want to keep harping on it but i'm i can't get over it <laughs> i cannot get over it guys everything else we're looking at is million dollars eight hundred thousand dollars eight hundred thousand dollars that house is a steal 2307, I'm not even selling the house, but 2307 Longfellow Avenue, Westfield, New Jersey. Unless there's something that I'm missing, guys, 
Go check it out right now. Uh, that is the deal of a lifetime. Holy cow. All right, guys, let's take a look at the crime rate here of Westfield. As I mentioned, a uh, fantastically safe town. You're looking at mostly green here, a little bit of yellow. Uh, and then as you get closer to the Garwood area uh, and the main streets with more towns of shoplifting and, and, you know, things like that, you get a little bit of orange here. Um, but most of Westfield is going to be here. Green, yellow, uh, again, couldn't, you know, a fantastically safe town and, and the low crime rates, the good neighborhoods is another big reason on top of everything else that we talked about that people choose to live here in Westfield. All right. So now I am imagining that this is going to be a long, long list. But if you guys have some favorite places to go in Westfield, whether it be food or shopping, please leave it down in the comments below for both for myself, because I'm sure there's places in Westfield that I haven't been yet. Um, but also more importantly for the people who are planning to move to or near Westfield so that they have some great options to try out when they get there. All right, guys, that should be everything that you need to know to get started on making a decision whether you want to move to Westfield or if you're looking to move somewhere else. If you guys are planning to move within the next month or within the next year and would like me to help you find your home, please give me a call, shoot me a text or send me an email. I'll be happy to do so. And if you guys want to stay up to date on all things Central Jersey and all things buying and selling houses, please like and subscribe the video so that you can get notified of the next upload. Thanks. I'll see you guys next time.